count the um, sound level, that's good. And it's also four o'clock local time now. So I'm going to kick off because we only have half an hour and I won't, don't want to um, cut into the, the session that we're sharing the slot with. Um, so hi, everyone, to our little mini workshop um, on open life science, helping you care for yourself and your community. Just if I can get those slides to move. That is the wrong thing that has just happened. Oh, now my Zoom plays up. This is going well. I'm back to where I want to be. Um, so your facilitators for your session um, uh, uh, is me. I'm Patricia Hatterlich. I'm one of the resident fellows at OLS, and I'm facilitating with Maya, who is remote. And you can, Maya, do you want to wave? Or you've heard her count already. So um, we're like facilitating the session on open life science. For those who do not know what open life science is, um, it's a mentoring and training program for open uh, science ambassadors. It started out in the life science, but it's actually across all disciplines. Um, so you can bring your project um, uh, for a 16 week uh, cohort program uh, that has one and one mentoring and expert calls. And um, yeah, you learn about open science and uh, open leadership and a few other things in that program. Um, the eighth round, eight cohorts, uh, will run later this year and applications open on the 1st of June. So if after this talk, you feel that either you have a project um, that you want to um, go through open life science with or you know anyone that you think could like really profit from this um, please keep an eye out for the applications deadline and um, join us in OLS 8. Um, so one of the reasons why um, open life sciences exists is like to um, create the cultural change towards open science which requires uh, leadership, vision, strategy, targeted measures, uh, transparency and accountability, and um, trust and confidence in a, in a shared vision. And um, open uh, life science is basically um, trying to, to um, teach their ambassadors and um, um, empower them to um, take that cultural change forward. As I said, it's a 16 week long mentorship um, and cohort best training. So you have cohort calls every week, one and one mentoring um, with a mentor that you get assigned to your project. Um, and um, that allows you to um, apply um, things that you learn in the cohort hands on to your project with um, expert guidance from a mentor alongside. So this is kind of what the um, schedule looks like and um, has, as I said, like various things about open science, but here is she can, uh, in week 12 under uh, inclusion and ally skills. It also has personal ecology and sustainable practices. Um, so self-care is actually built into the curriculum um, and has always been there and has been there before it was cool to do, um, you know, things on self-care and well-being. It was always identified as something that is really, really important um, uh, in, the, in the open science space. Maya, I hand to you to um, talk about... Uh, a little bit more about what we have done in addition to that. Thank you, Patricia. Um, um, just first disclaimer, being honest, I somehow have a technical difficulty. I see black screen instead of slides, but I mean, I know the slides, we made them together, so <laughs> just sharing them. Um, yeah, as resident fellows um, with Patricia, one of our aspirations was to kind of 
to think about community and its well-being and uh, foster conversations around that. And uh, what we already did was to co-organize with a Turing Way uh, an event called Fireside Chat uh, titled Reflect, Unlearn, Reframe, Community Care in Times of Digital Burnout. Um, we shared the link in, in the collaborative notes document under other information links, so you can maybe check it. Um, yeah, and <laughs> see there how uh, we discussed on kind of individual reflections or systemic um, uh, factors around the burnout. Can you hear me well? Yep. Yes, we can. There's a little disturbance, but it's okay. We can still hear you. Oh, I, I see yeah. from Patricia that they cannot hear or see slides any longer and yeah. they ask me to pause. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, it's not easy not to. Sorry, I'm unmuting from <laughs> the other time. machine just to let you know that like the Zoom crashed in the room. Um, so we're trying to reconnect, which means like we can't hear anything Maya has started saying and the slides are gone. Uh, we'll reconnect and, and um, pick up from where I handed over to you. Um, yeah. All right. Thank Joys you. of, of trying you. this hybrid. Sorry. Uh, it looks like we were fine connected to between us in Zoom uh, because Nico just wrote, wrote me he could hear me. Um, but we got disconnected from Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> um, how was your experience so far during today? Just taking advantage of <laughs> chatting. Yeah, anyone in, in the participants. I'm I'm an SSI star, so so yeah. Me too. I've been a bit absent today, so just connecting now. Well, called warming up, so tomorrow will be full fully engaged well we have to facilitate the next session after yours so if this doesn't work then i think uh, camila and reina will have to take it also in the room it's gonna be fine i mean we can also have like two separate meetings right one one online here and one in person i don't know yeah that's an idea No, you, you are lucky ones. Uh, maybe they can invite you to, I don't know, open the um, the handout we put as resources or the slides. So you just, if you feel like to go through some exercises there, we, we thought of proposing only some of the exercises at the workshop, um, but there are some others. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm asking Reina and Camila. They are there in the room. If there's any news, but they haven't seen to be responding so far. So 
if you decide that we have to do anything online, then we we, we will follow you, you Maya. Yeah, I, um, I'll ask Patricia. Yeah, so Patricia says it, it, it's fine. They started actually to, to, to do some work related to, yeah, it, it seems it takes more time than um, was supposed to. And yeah, well, I cannot share the screen with you uh, because it's blocked, no, with the screen. But what basically I was, um, was telling, uh, about uh, supposed to tell was uh, emphasizing the role of self-care um that what is what we do to take care of ourselves no so we can continue to contribute to the work that inspires us and then to the concept of personal ecology in which under which we put um what we do to maintain the balance the pacing the rhythm the efficiency no uh, that it allows us to go in a sustainable way. And um, the important concept that we, at least in the Open Seas program, want to remember that each of us needs first to put the oxygen mask on ourselves uh, in terms of kind of create a proactive, um, strategic, systemic approach on the self care and personal ecology, and then let others make the space and opportunities for us to do. Uh, uh, to do it as well. And if you're in leadership position, yeah, you put first the mask on yourself and then on, on a kid <laughs> or on a person that needs more uh, attention. And um, what we prepared is the, the file with the handout. You can find it um, at the resources needed to take part. It's, I think, the second page. Basically, if you click on it, it will prompt you to make a copy. So then you can have it in your Google space. Um, and please feel free to unmute and uh, ask. So we are very few now in the room. Um, and then we can go through those exercises and um, we have 15 minutes no, for us. We can focus on one of the exercises you can do it um, kind of silently. Can you uh, let me know if you uh, manage to open the document that is called Week 13 Self Care? I see Nicholas nodding. Maya, Others? Just, yes. Just letting you know that we're back, but I think um, is there a way for us, um, Schwab, to? mute the zoom room in here so you can actually just keep going what you're you've been doing and we are discussing in here and like we check in like with five minutes to go is that so you were able to hear us all the time no we were not able to hear hear you um or like yeah or alternatively if someone break makes breakout room would be great would it work for everyone in online participation to go into breakout. Yeah, that that's um, Shweep will open a breakout room for you, so you can go there and um, do the exercise. We went a little bit off topic in the room, <laughs> just because we, <laughs> we improvised, but we're still talking. We're still well. We're off slides and agenda schedule. We're not off topic. We are very much on topic in the room, but not with the original plan. That's perfect. Okay, we have the join breakout option. So online participants, please uh, 
join it and see you there. Um, okay. Am I still sharing? Oh yeah, I'm still I'm back sharing. Oh gosh, um, yeah. Um, well, before we were, were going uh, like for the thing, uh, this question um, uh, us basically uh, we did a um, together with a touring way a uh, um, fireside chat which also goes around those. Um, uh, how we basically came back from burnout and a few more self-care tips um, in case anyone wants to catch up with that. But we were discussing how you manage your manager uh, and how we do self-care there. So James was next. If you if you still remember your thought, we're like, keep going. If not, other people feel free to speak up seeing as we're like now doing like open room discussion. Um, please just, yeah, put out thoughts. I think technically this is recorded, but like Shrabe, if we can manage that, you know, some of these waiting for the folks to come back from the breakout rooms. Um, I hope you had a good discussion online. We had a good one in the room, I feel. Um, it's, um, yeah, you had a good one online. Great, thank you. And um, just for people in the room, the, um, if you go at some point into the notes, um, there's a um, the thing that we actually wanted to introduce and work through, and which I think some point people online have done, is like a little self-assessment that can give you early indicators of like you know how much uh, nice moments do you have in your work, and um, you know figure out which things can bring you more joy, and maybe that's something you can you know bring to either your manager or your team and start a conversation with around. Um, join a union, that's always good. If it goes into like workplace struggles, if anyone has other good ideas, um, there is the shared note-taking document to collect some more. But other than that, um, thank you very much to people joining online. Thank you to everyone in the room. And I'm just gonna hand over to um, the next wonderful people who, um, by the way, have gone through open life science. So like, um, Proud to hand over to um, some alumni for the next session. Thank you very much so far. Um, 